Friends, hello, welcome back. Hopefully everyone's day's been going well. We got a suggestion from Blake's place, which by the way, sounds like it's a pretty nice place. I'm here in an outdoor pool. We're here in hot tub, maybe an ODR back there. Seems like a pretty nice place to be. Nonetheless, their suggestion today is to get a team of former Jerome Ginland teammates back all together to finally bring Calgary and Jerome Ginla that Stanley Cup. Now, Iggy's going to go in that first line, of course. Make sure he's on the power play. And he is not, so we'll slide him in there real quickly. There you go. Bang. Again, this is your team. You got to go out there and you got to play, fella. But let's take a look at this team. Brad Marchand. You have Sidney Crosby. And then again, you have Iggy himself. I got to say, when we first did this team, I was like, man, I don't know if he's going to have the players. But again, those last couple years in the league where he went around and shuffled around on a couple of teams, really loaded this team up. Ranting it. When he was in Cal Colorado, obviously Malkin played with Crosby, played with Malkin at St. Louis for what was that, one year, two years or so? Very short period. It might have just been a trade year, too. Kopitar, when he was in LA, Bergeron in Boston, McKinnon again, Colorado, Landis Cog. McKinnon in Colorado, those guys had to just squeak in again, right? Right at the end there, barely. Landis Cog makes it, O'Reilly makes it. The Arun Flory is the first Calgary Flame to actually make this team. That's all. Again, it was a little bit weaker before we got to these guys. Flory, a solid player, though. This team just became absolutely loaded at the end of the day, though. Once we went to the E, went to a couple other teams. You have Housley. You have Drew Dowdy. You have Tory Krug, Latang, Giordano, and Tyson Berry on defense. The scratch players, Duchesne Backland, and okay, Duming's going to play, I guess. I want to say we had Eric Johnson in there somewhere, but they said, hey, Louis Duming. It's going to play some net for us just in case. You never know. You need that third goalie these days because we can't have uh, the water boys out there playing. What in the heck was that? Toronto's uh, maintenance guy? Who was that? What was he considered? Some sort of staff member of the uh, building or whatever. Nonetheless, Calgary going to go out there and steamroll teams early as we expected. 8-1-1 one one to start the season. This team's trying to have the historic of historic seasons if possible here. 14-1-1 one one, as expected. Dominant. Jerome Ginla, the boys. Uh, it's not even going to be close to this division, it looks like, so far. We'll see, though. You never know. Those cold streaks happen, but we're going to go out there and say Calgary's going to wrap up this division. We'll see what they can do in the Stanley Cup playoffs, but hey, we'll wait it out. Because as we know, anything's possible. Like Calgary got there and lose 30 straight games and miss playoffs. But they might have already clinched. <laughs> that would have been something if they clinched the playoff spot at the deadline. They still haven't clinched. Oh, they have 48 wins and I clinched. There's the clinching. I was going to say. The way these guys are playing, I wanted to see that. That would have been nice. A nice little playoff berth at the trade deadline. How nuts would have that been? They did cool off a little bit in the second half there after that hot start. Nonetheless, they're still going to probably win the Presidents. They're going to get the Ducks in the first round, it appears here. We're going to take a look here. 54 and 20. Sounds like a Presidents trophy year to me, but what the heck do I know? I'm just assuming here. 116 looks good. 3.72 goals for per game. This team was an offensive powerhouse as expected there 2.43 goals against entire league as expected well no tampa says hold my puck 118 points there just beating out the tampa bay like that felt cringe but it sounded nice when it came out of the mouth 118 points though looking good there are tampa bay and the boys we'll see how calgary's team played though 85 points out of crosby 73 out of marchand Mock in 68, 65 out again. A decent season, 21 by 44. You play with those boys on the first line. You kind of expected a little bit more than that, but it is what it is. Still a decent performance. Positive player, as most people on this team was. As we can tell, they're positives by a landslide. Crosby led the team in goals. Malkin right behind him. And then Nasty Nate as well up there. The goaltenders, Grant Fjord, uh, 917. Good gear. Good gear didn't get to play much. It's all right. 911, 917. Close, 911. And both of the 9-11s are for the goaltenders. But here we go. We got playoffs. We got Anaheim. We got free wins in Calgary. I'm saying they win in five. We're just going to send five games and say thanks for playing Anaheim. That's what I'm betting on. And, oh, we shouldn't be a bet, man. <laughs> we go into at least six over here against the Anaheim Ducks. And it's going to end in six. We want to try again in the second round against Arizona. Done in four. I ain't feeling too good about it for you guys, Arizona. I ain't even going to look. I'm going to look. i got to make sure. But you know what? Yeah. Okay, Arizona. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Couple wins. We'll go game five. Calgary not so tough in playoffs. I got gotcha. you. Of course, they're going to win in six games. Thanks for playing, Arizona. See you later. What the hell you? 
Calgary gonna dominate. Winnipeg, a tough team in their own. Here we go. Conference final series split one apiece after the first two. Heading into Winnipeg. Gonna split those two as well. Heading back home. Game five. This is where Calgary's pulled away in the previous series. And they've done it once more. Can it end another series in six games? They will. And they'll play the tough. Tampa Bay Lightning in the conference finals. Here we go. Tampa gonna drop the first two. They just might get the brooms out on these Lightning. Uh, probably not. Again, President's Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning. Two tough teams, two juggernauts. You expected nothing less than these two teams in the conference finals. We'll see if Calgary, though, can take care of Tampa in quick work. Quicker work than the rest of the league here. one nothing early. Sid the Kid Crosby says, Vasilevsky, sit down. Period two, Crosby does it again. He's looking for that natty hattie. The hat trick watch here. Stamkos on Fuhrer. Goal, Tampa Bay coming back. Kucherov and the boys. And there's the complete comeback. Andre Palat, it is a tie ball game. 10 minutes left. Calgary's got to put one back in that. Again, let's try point blank range. And a big save there by Jerome or Andre Vasilevsky. There's Calgary pulling back ahead. This team's looking like once again, they're in position to win. Lord Stanley Cup. Miko Ranton with the big Gino there. One minute left. Tampa's got to do something here. And they're not. It has been all Calgary in this final couple minutes here. Tampa still hasn't registered a shot. There it is. Braden in point just to get one on net. That's not going to do it though. Tampa Bay is going to fall to the Calgary Flames in the conference or Stanley Cup Finals. And that wish is going to come true. Calgary's going to pick up that Stanley Cup. Again, is going to pick up that Stanley Cup. And here we go. We'll take a look at the awards. I don't think we really stuck out anywhere, really, right? Stutzla! Congrats on the Calder, pal. Malkin with the Con Smythe. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we got the Jennings. The defense was good. I don't think we any guys were just kind of getting enough point season to win any other awards. Not a big deal because we won the Stanley Cup. That's all that matters. As for this video, though, guys, as always, if you enjoyed it, I appreciate you. Consider subscribing, liking the video. You never have to. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.